Grade 8 math, number 6.2a, we're in a unit of describing functions, investigating a constant rate of change. A function can be linear or nonlinear, and it can be proportional or nonproportional. We learned that before in the previous videos. A graphed linear function makes a straight line, and a graphed nonlinear function makes a line that is not straight. You can see video 4.2e in this playlist for more information about that. A graphed linear function that is proportional runs through the origin at point zero zero. Here's the videos for that topic. And a graphed linear function that is non-proportional does not run through the origin at point zero zero. And these are the videos for that topic, okay? If you haven't seen these and you're very confused what all of this means, you've gotten ahead of yourself, you need to go back and watch those and then come back to this because you've gotten way ahead of yourself, okay? The National Weather Service defines a heavy snowfall as one inch in three hours. And this table shows the total amount of snow that falls in various amounts of time during a heavy snowfall. So zero hours would be zero inches of snow. See? Here's the one inch in three hours, so that means one hour is one third of an inch. So we plot the ordered pairs from the table on the coordinate plane. And this is a horizontal table with this as the input, the x, and this is the output, the y. So I rewrote it as a vertical table going this way, but it's the same thing. So we're going to plot the points. So we can see the pink points that I plotted right here, and you can see what's happening, can't you? How much snow would fall in five hours? So here's in between 4 and 6, that would be 5, we follow it up, and we can see it would be 1 and 2 thirds inches. All the points lie in a straight line, don't they? If we plot the points for in between the hours, it would fill in the gaps of the line. See? 4 would be 1 and a third. See that? 7. You can see where each one would be, and it would just make this nice straight line, wouldn't it? Is the total amount of snow that falls a function of the number of hours that snow has been falling? Yes, because for any given input of time, there can only be one and only one output of total amount of snow. So in one hour, there can only be one output. See, for each input, there's one output. It can't snow a third of an inch in a half an hour, see? It's got each input has its own output. So this is linear because the points make a straight line and there's a constant rate of change on our graph. And it's proportional because the graph line runs through the origin zero, zero. So it's linear and proportional. See that? It goes right through zero, zero. And it even says so on the table that it goes through zero, zero, that it's proportional. See that? Okay, so that's investigating a constant rate of change, and we're going to continue on to our next topic, which would be graphing linear functions, okay? I'll see you there. Don't forget I'm on Twitter, and I can post any of these whiteboards as a study guide for you. Bye.